Good morning, Digit fam. Adam Dowd here, closing out another week of tech. Can you believe we are finishing out the 14th week of 2019? Where does the time go? And speaking of time, it is April 5th, 2019, and this is your Digit Daily. Imitation is the highest form of desperation, so goes the saying, which is why we shouldn't be surprised that hot on the heels of the Apple AirPods now comes the... Alexa Pods? Alexa Buds? Amazon Pods? Okay, well, let's just all be thankful that I'm not in charge of naming these things. According to a Bloomberg scoop, Amazon is preparing its own Alexa-powered clone of Apple AirPods. Because AirPods are really popular, so people will want AirPods with an Amazon sticker on them, right? Well, probably not. According to Bloomberg sources, the headphones will let people order goods, get the weather, and access music and information on the go. They'll access this with their voice, and there will be gestures that allow them to answer calls and whatnot. In other words, these will be AirPods. But there's more. The Amapods will come in a storage case that also acts as a charger. Okay, and so, in other words, these are also AirPods. But you see, the real appeal to the Apple AirPods is in the user experience. They pair stupid easy and maintain a rock-solid connection. They don't sound great, but they don't sound bad. And while everything else could probably be copied, the look, the sound, the charging case, that user experience will be hard to replicate when you don't control the phone on the hardware level. And Amazon won't control the phone on the hardware level. Apple almost certainly won't let them. And even if they do, what about Android? There are hundreds of different kinds of Android phones out there. Amazon simply won't be able to craft a user experience for each phone, but that's not even the root of Amazon's problems. The biggest obstacle that Amazon will face is in its own product, Alexa. The problem is, Alexa's not very good as an assistant. If you want to order something or check the weather, Alexa will get you there. And of those two things, you're really only going to do one of them with the headphones. Literally no one has ever been walking down the street in lower Manhattan and had a sudden urge to order laundry detergent that will arrive in two days. And if you're strolling around lower Manhattan, you don't need to check the weather. You're in it. Or if you want to turn on your lights or control your smart home, you sure as heck don't want to put on earbuds to do it. If you're that ingrained in the smart home ecosystem, you already have a smart speaker, and that's waiting for your command. Basically, the problem Amazon is facing is that there isn't really a clear-cut use case for these buds, except they look like apples, but they're not apples. On the Android side, there is no shortage of true wireless headphones, so just why? I mean, I guess sell them for 50 bucks and they'll move, for sure. But if you plan to attack the market with these things, anything north of a two-digit price tag, you're going to have to put these things in the same warehouse where you're storing all those Fire Phones that never sold. Normally, I'm on board with Amazon strategies. They're often cutthroat, but generally effective. But this move... I just don't see it. But Amazon's probably smarter than me. What I do know is that even at $50, my wallet is staying firmly in place. We're not done talking about Amazon yet, though, but we are done talking about these things. So let's continue our discussion over in the Roundup! Speaking of Alexa, one useful thing that Alexa will be able to do someday, is play the latest Digit Daily podcast. We've submitted our show there, but apparently Amazon has a lengthy review process, so stay tuned. We've also submitted the show to play on Google Home, but we have even more hoops to jump through over there, even before we get to the lengthy review process. So I can promise you folks, it's coming. I don't know when, but it is coming. Also, also, we've talked before about how Elon Musk was looking into getting into the internet from space business. Well, Amazon is now too, because how else is Jeff Bezos going to get desert nomads to order cases of water from him, right? Amazon is looking to launch a Project Kuiper constellation, which is comprised of 3,236 satellites delivering the internet from low orbit. Wow, let's hope the Bezos satellites and the Musk satellites get along up there, huh? We've talked before about pop-up selfie cameras. Well, in true hold-my-beer fashion, Oppo has just patented a phone with a second pop-up screen. And yes, it looks as ridiculous as it sounds. What use would a second pop-up screen have, you might be thinking. And if you are, you clearly do not work for Oppo because only people at Oppo have any freaking clue as to what this thing will do. Hashtag what the Oppo, Oppo. 
CNET wrote a somewhat scathing piece on the very 5G that we talked about yesterday. While you and I were chatting on the merits of 5G in Chicago and Minneapolis, Jessica Dalcart was in downtown Chicago, in the rain, testing 5G goodness. Well, actually, that's only half true. She was testing 5G. What she got was not goodness. Let's just say this might be the 4G problem all over again, and damn it, 5G people, you told us this wouldn't be a problem. But it was. Basically, just don't go buy a 5G phone yet, folks. We're just not there yet. Samsung is in trouble, but don't worry, it's not like imminently closing kind of trouble, but Samsung saw a 60% drop in revenue year over year this quarter, and losing 60% of anything is generally not good. Except weight, I could lose 60% of my body weight and probably be considered only slightly unhealthy. But enough about my bad life choices. Samsung is blaming slow iPhone sales non-ironically. Samsung makes the OLED panels for its chief rival's hand scent, which is just delicious. But unfortunately, when iPhones don't sell, Samsung doesn't sell to Apple, and that's bad. Gizmodo has a review of Bose's new smart sunglasses, and here's the thing. They're mostly speakers, and Bose knows how to speaker, yo. The AR that's built into the sunglasses are audio only, giving you cues on when to turn, etc. But the real moneymaker here is in the audio coming from the sunglasses, which is really nice, but, and maybe this is because I live in Chicago, but I just don't wear sunglasses often enough to replace my Bluetooth headphones with sunglasses. And if that's the case, then I don't need another pair of headphones just for sunny days. This is more a solution looking for a problem in my humble opinion, so for now, I'm gonna pass. And finally, Elon Musk is in trouble again, and it's because of tweeting again. Musk went to court with the SEC because he continues to tweet unabated and unchecked. Specifically, the problem is that Musk's tweets are simply not true, often enough to be concerning. Well, one could say that about a lot of people, but when you run a country, <laughs> I mean company, that becomes quite problematic. Sorry, not sorry for the Freudian slip there. Meanwhile, a judge ordered Musk and the SEC to meet up and figure out some kind of acceptable arrangement, and I get the feeling that regardless Regardless of what happens at that meeting, ain't no one telling Elon what he can or can't tweet, bruh. So that is going to do it for today's Digit Daily. If you'd like to learn more about any of these stories, check out the links in the show notes and subscribe to our daily newsletter on Digit.com. And if you like what you heard, subscribe and leave a review in your favorite podcast player. Also, be sure to tell your friends about DigitDailyPod.com. Once again, I'm Adam Dowd, Dead Technology on Twitter, and we'll talk again on Monday. <laughs>